Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assess clients from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones and tablets and other mobile devices. Now, one of the services that our clients most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google account lock on an Android device. That's a security feature where when you do a reset to the device without first removing the account that's on it, it'll then ask you for that account again as a security feature after the reset has been done. Now, here with us today, we have kind of a unique device. It's an Insignia tablet. Insignia is the manufacturer, the company that made it, and it's just a super generic 10-inch tablet. Um, they're not very common, and from everything that we can find, they're originally sold through Best Buy. But we have had several clients contact us telling, them that, telling us that they had one and needed help with getting the Google account lock removed. So I'm not even sure if any of the info will show up here on the back of the tablet. No, probably not. So we'll have to wait until we get into the settings to show you all of that. But this device does have the Google account lock enabled because as we can see here, as we're going through the setup, we get to the screen that tells us that the device was reset. And then to continue, we have to sign in with that same account that was on the device previously. So we're making this video to let any interested clients know that we do offer a service to be able to remove that from the device. And that's actually what we're gonna do right here, right now uh, in the video as proof that we can do it. So we've got our computer program ready to go here that we've developed to be able to remove this. And so I just need to go ahead and get that connected here. One second. And plug that in. Nope, other way. There we go. Okay, so that's plugged in and our program's running. Should just take a second here. And... Okay, that should be all there is to it. So we're gonna unplug that and then power it back on. Okay, there we go. So I've got the Insignia logo here, it's turning back on. You guys can see that we haven't, we haven't entered in our own Google account on the tablet, nothing like that. We just plugged it into our computer. And then now once it boots back up, we should be able to see that we can get all the way through the setup process without seeing that Google account lock. Come on. Okay, there we go. We were really surprised the first time we saw one of these devices because it was such a, just a, just an off-brand device that we had never seen before. It was just a super generic Android tablet. Um, we can see here, we kind of have a hint as to the model name there, that NSP10A8100. And that's basically the only identifying information for this device. It doesn't really have a model name or any branding associated with it. It's just a super generic device that, like we said, it was just sold through Best Buy. But we have had several clients contact us about them, so we figured there were more people out there that might need to have it removed. So it is checking network here. We're still, again, just going through the setup process here. But again, now that we've ran our computer program to remove the lock, we should be able to see that we can get all the way through now. Not sure why YouTube popped up. And we're still waiting for it to run through. This might take another second or two, so you can skip through to the end of the video if you'd like to see us get all the way to the home screen. Okay, checking for updates. Come on, seriously? Okay, there we go. So, now we're at the Google account, well, we were at the Google account sign-in screen. I've decided to jump back on me. Okay, so we're at the Google account lock screen, and now you'll notice that now it's asking for any Google account rather than specifically the one that was on there before. So that's a good sign. So let's just skip through the rest of this here, and then we should be able to skip the options, skip the name. 
We don't need a password. Anything else? Nope, don't need anything else. Okay, and there we go. Now, we are at the home screen here. We have full access to all the apps and settings and features and everything, and the Google account lock has been completely removed. Just so you can see exactly what we're working with here, I'm going to go ahead and jump in the settings and show you what it shows for the device. So again, it doesn't really have a model name. There's no branding associated with it. There's just that model number starting with the NS there. So it's a pretty generic device, uh, just has plain Android installed, nothing else. But we've had a few clients contact us about it, so we figured there might be some people out there who need help with getting it removed from their device. So if you're one of those who has one of these with a Google account lock enabled, we would love to help you out with that, so go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description, and I'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all the info there as well. Make sure to check out all the other videos here on our channel while you're here. We, have, we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy. Make sure to hit that subscribe button while you're there also to be notified of all the new videos that we're constantly adding just like this one. Y para todos los hispanos hablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching everyone and have a great day.